everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing really really super well so i thought i'd jump on here and just sort of i thought i'd maybe like do a little vlog today um so yeah um so there's a couple of things that i wanted to update you on i'm just trying to get you I'm just trying to get the tripod on the thing so yeah i just wanted to sort of update you um with things so yeah so connell was supposed to have the day off work today um he is not very well so yeah i've not been very well for the past sort of like i mean i'm feeling so much better now i don't know if you can hear it in my voice but i have got like a slight husky voice um but yeah so for the past sort of like just short of a week i developed a cold um and yeah obviously with this whole coronavirus situation um it is taken a lot more seriously so yeah i developed the cold on thursday last week so we're now on friday um and then i had a really rough day on friday and then i decided to have saturday off work because i felt awful um and then it just sort of developed into a cold and then i had a cough and yeah all sorts of things so yeah pretty much um connor was supposed to be off today um and he's had to go into work because they really need him so i don't think he's gonna have the best day today but yeah so i just thought i'd come on here and do like a little vloggy style video for you guys today so it is currently i don't know what time it is let me have a look so it's currently 20 past 10 and at 11 o'clock i have a taxi booked for um to go to my mum's house my mum and stepdad uh, work full time but my family dog Keita is there so um, I was there all day yesterday and myself and Connell planned to be there together today but obviously he's needed to go into work. So I've ordered a taxi for 11 to go to my mum's and sit with Keita for the afternoon. So yeah, I'm currently just, I was just getting ready and that I've had a shower, I've washed my hair, although I'll probably end up washing it again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm one of those people that like, I feel disgusting if, if I've got greasy hair, so I thought I'll just wash it, I'll just single shampoo it, I haven't conditioned it or anything, I'll just like single shampoo it and I'll just, you know, have it washed. Um... And then, yeah, so I've had a shower, washed my hair, I've put some makeup on because obviously I did plan to film today. So I might film a separate video to this. I might film like a QA and a or something, something like content-wise for this channel anyway. Um, because I've got most of the afternoon at my mum's to kill. So, yeah, I was just getting ready. I mean, nothing really exciting. I can show you what I've got on. So, I've got this cropped jumper on, um, which is basically just like off the shoulder, just like crop jumper. Um, my scrunchie. And then I've got these trousers on. I just wanted something like really comfortable. So, um, I think I've featured these trousers in a haul. These are from Primark, I think. So, yeah, I just wanted, like, a really comfy, like, cosy outfit because it's not the warmest today. I think it's, like, 9 or 10 degrees, so it's not the warmest. But, yeah, that is pretty much what's happening with me. So, I am so much better. I feel so much better um, now. It's just Connell has developed a cold and he's sneezing and, oh, yeah. So, he's caught my dreaded lurgy, bless him. So... He's had to go to work, which I feel so awful about, but I suppose it is what it is. So, yeah, I am currently just packing a few bits and bobs together. Like, obviously, I've got my camera and my tripod um, and things like that. I'm going to take my camera battery charger as well, just in case while I'm at my mum's. And I film quite a lot that I need to charge my battery. So, yeah, I have got my shoes at the ready to go when my taxi picks me up in about 40 minutes 
And I am currently just watching Rhiannon and Ashley on the TV. I mean, I'm sorry, Rhiannon, that is an awful, like, picture that I've paused you on. But yeah, so I absolutely love Rhiannon and Ashley's vlogs. Like, Rhiannon and Ashley's vlogs are amazing. Um, it's it's the one where Delilah like starts school. It's like an hour long. I was in my element this morning, like watching half of it. Um, but I will probably get to my mum's and carry on watching the rest of that. So yeah, I just wanted to sort of come on here and sort of see how you guys are. How are you guys doing? Um, how do you feel about the new? rules and regulations and like the government guidelines that Boris has now put in place again um I just think it's absolutely ridiculous I'm not gonna lie um but yeah we have to do what we have to do that is it so yeah I'm gonna pop you back on there again so yeah that is pretty much everything that is has been happening in my life. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will probably pick you back up when I get to my mum's um, and you can see Kita because I've never, I don't think I've actually ever shown you Kita. I think there might have been a video on my youtube channel i can't remember if i private privated that video i know it is up on my channel but i don't know if it's private obviously i can see my private video so um but yeah i'll have to show you kita when i get to my mum's and introduce you to her she's 15 um she is my little my little jelly bean she's just amazing i love her so much um yeah the reason why i'm going to sit with her is because obviously my mum and stepdad both work full time so um obviously me like not being at work today um i said that i would go down i mean i intended on going down anyway um with connell but um, my mum was all prepared to come out of work and I said look it's fine I'll just order a taxi and I'll go and sit with her for the afternoon and it'll be fine so yeah obviously with like her age and because she's getting older and stuff she's struggling to last for the toilet um TMI but yeah um she's just got to the point where she's like messing in the house so yeah hopefully when I get there she will be okay and I'll be able to just let her let her out and she'll just do her business outside <laughs> so yeah because i know my mum has had a couple of occasions where she's like messed in the house and my mum's come back and had to obviously sort it out so that is pretty much everything i am going to put my shoes on because even though i have half an hour until the taxi's here i might just get ready just tidy up this room a little bit. I haven't even opened the curtains yet. Like the curtains and the blinds are still closed. Um, but yeah, the majority of the house is tidy. So that's fine. So when I come back. Like later this evening. Then the house will be tidy. So yeah, I'm going to pop my shoes on. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get my stuff together. I'm going to sort this situation out here. Because there is cushions and blankets everywhere. And it just looks a mess. So, yeah, I shall see you when I get to my mum's. Hey guys, so I'm at my mum's now. Um, so yeah, I've been here for about two-ish hours. Um, so yeah, um, I've had some lunch and I am currently if you can see just watching team mum um but yeah i don't get team mum at my house because i don't have sky so yeah i'm just catching up on teen mum but yeah let's go and see kita because you haven't seen kita for a while so 
let's go and see her. I mean, she's very, <laughs> she's very, very sleepy right now. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> she is snoozing away. I mean, she tends to, she tends to do this anyway. Like she, she basically just lays here and looks cute. Don't you, Baba? Hey, don't you? <laughs> You look cute. Do you look cute? Yes, you do. <laughs> so yeah, that is Keita. She is enjoying herself thoroughly right now. But yeah, so I think she just misses mummy. Um, misses mummy and daddy. But yeah, so I have, like I said, just had my lunch. And... I am cuddled up on the sofa. This is my current situation right now. Um, so yeah, I uh, I'm cut I'm cozied up on the sofa underneath my mum's very soft blanket, and I'm watching Teen Mum. And yeah, so I was just speaking to Connell. So. Um, he is obviously at work, like I said this morning, but yeah, he, uh, we FaceTimed on his lunch break and then he was just doing a couple of jobs and we were talking over FaceTime, um, because at the place that he's currently work, well, he, the place that he's working at today, he's on his own because they have like different like buildings and he's in one of the buildings on his own. So we were just chatting about all sorts of stuff so yeah um i've put my phone on charge because facetime drains the battery as you probably know so yeah i've put my phone on charge and i spoke to my mum this morning and she just asked if i get a chance to hoover her bedroom so i think i'm gonna do that in a little bit i'm halfway through this episode of team mum so I'm just going to finish off watching this episode and then don't know what else I'm going to do to be honest. Um, What time is it now? So it's one o'clock now so I've got like about three and a half hours just over four um, until my mum comes in from work and then Connell should be in roughly about the same time. I think Connell should be back at five. Um, Potentially, Connell might be allowed to go early, depending on if the jobs that he needs to get done, get done. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of hoping he comes back early because as much as I don't mind being here and, you know, being with Keita and, you know, minding um, the house, I don't know, it's just like, it's not that I'm stuck for something to do, but it's like, I can't just sit and do nothing for a long period of time, like I have to be doing something. So, yeah, I think I might take my mum's um, job up and hoover her room for her. So, yeah, I'm sure she will appreciate that. But, yeah, that is pretty much all that's going on today. So, tomorrow, I think, um, potentially, me and my mum are going to have, like, a mother-daughter day. Um, I asked her at the beginning of the week if she wanted to like go out shopping and grab lunch together and things like that so yeah potentially it's either going to be tomorrow or sunday but i think we might go tomorrow um but yeah obviously like whereas face masks and everything like that that's the only thing that's like really frustrating about like this pandemic is that like every like everywhere you have like everywhere you go you have to wear a face mask it's like i got a taxi like literally like five minutes ten minutes down the road to my mum's house and i had to wear a face mask which i understand completely like i'm not against the fact that i have to wear it like i don't mind but it's just like it's just a little bit of an inconvenience and it's like every time you go into stores it's like i haven't been food shopping since monday it since monday since thursday since yesterday um since it all sort of like the guidelines and that changed again um but yeah apparently they're back to queuing outside 
supermarkets. I mean, I'm from the UK, so I don't know what it's like um, for anybody in different countries. But yeah, um, in the UK, we're like queue we're back out queuing outside, and it's only like so many people in the shop at any one time, um, and social distancing measures are back again. But yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating because it's like it's 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 just gone on for so long and it's like i understand that like the main the main thing is to keep everybody safe and to keep the country afloat and keep it like working as well as it can do but it's just like it's just boris like every couple of months like he comes out with these like new regulations so like first off we weren't allowed to see friends and family we weren't allowed to be like in groups of like six or whatever we weren't allowed to meet outside it, we weren't allowed to meet inside like go in each other's houses we weren't allowed to like physically hug or like touch each other and then that kind of got like sort of eased off so like we were allowed to be in like sort of family bubbles and we were allowed to like have a hug and we were allowed to meet inside and we were allowed to like social distance like with more than six people now it's going back down to only being six people but it has to be like the same six people or whatever and yeah and you now can't go back to like <coughs> excuse me like you now can't go back to like hugging your family members and all that kind of thing so i just think it's daft it's like obviously i just want everybody to be safe like i want obviously the the numbers of deaths to come down like the death rate to come down and everything like that i mean same as everybody but i basically just want normality back and i think it's got to the point where now when we actually do go back to like normality it's not going to feel like normality like this is like our new normal um or at least it feels like it right now but yeah it's just a little bit crap it's like obviously it's the end of september now excuse me <laughs> that was disgusting um but yeah obviously we're like at the end of september now so i'm really not gonna be very happy if we get to december and we get to christmas and we're not allowed to like be inside with our family like friends and family like that is going to be awful because obviously i know like myself and connell like we have our house together but we always spend Christmas seeing our family. Like, Christmas is a time when you see your family. Um, and, like, the thought of, like, not being able to, like, see your family and stuff. Like, it's just awful. Like, I don't know how they're going to go about it. Because I know a lot of people, if they live near their family members, they're going to want to see go and see them physically. Um, and spend the day with them. So... I have no idea how it's going to work this year. I'm I'm dreading getting to the point of Christmas and like knowing what the guidelines are because yeah, for everybody's sake, I think after such a horrible year, I think we just need that family time, you know, because we've we've spent so much time apart from loved ones and friends and family this year and we've had to put so many things on hold we've had to like cancel so many things and i just think it would be a nice ending to this crappy ass year if we were just able to you know be with our friends and family and just be able to hug them and be able to like just spend time with them and not have to worry about like you know who you've been with and you know like who you know what i mean um like whose company you've been in and stuff so yeah it's a little bit crap but yeah all we can do is you know smile and carry on and continue and keep positive so yeah let me know down in the comments as well how all you guys are if you watch this um i'd love to hear how you are and how you're getting on and how you're coping with it um i know there has been like times throughout this like weird period that like my mental health has really affected me um i would like to do a video on it at some point soon um but i don't really know like what 
like what sort of like main points you'd like to see i mean obviously i can film um i can obviously film like a video and like have people ask questions if that's what you'd rather do but yeah i'd like to film a video um regarding mental health and regarding like how i've found this whole lockdown and how i've found you know the change to daily life um because i know a hell of a lot of people have struggled and i know it's it's a massive massive thing so yeah and i kind of just want to offer my support to people that feel like they struggle to get from one day to the next um i know i was going through a stage where i really really struggled and I didn't want to talk to anyone, I didn't want to go to work, I didn't want to get up in the morning, I had no motivation for anything at all, um, like I would just like basically just slob out on the sofa all day and not be productive at all in the slightest, so yeah let me know what kind of um, topics and what kind of like you know things you'd like me to talk about in a video like that and that's if you want to see that kind of video because I feel like that would really really help a lot of people especially at the minute like not being able to see certain people and um you know people that live on their own or you know people that live in care homes or whatever um and they've only got like the same set of people all the time um because i know it is it is really really hard to just keep a positive mindset going i mean throughout this whole pandemic I, I am a key worker so I have been at work um I haven't really had any time off at all so obviously in that aspect I've been very focused on work but it's just the same thing all the time like when I get home it's literally like get home get a shower get some food go to bed get up in the morning do it again and it's it's just the same like routine like constantly and I think it is getting to the point where now like it's getting to everybody like that they don't have anything to look forward to especially since in two weeks myself and Connell have two weeks booked off work together and we wanted to book like a few days out and things like that and we wanted to book maybe an overnight stay just for a little breakaway together and it's just really worrying now because obviously we want that time off together but we don't want to waste an entire two weeks just doing nothing um but then at the same time if we're not allowed to go and travel anywhere then so be it but it's just a little bit crap because you you feel like you've you look forward to this time off you work towards having this break and i feel like if it's going to be at the point where we aren't allowed to travel we aren't allowed to go anywhere it's just gonna be a little bit rubbish because we're just gonna be stuck indoors um and it's you know the weather's turning cooler now so it's not like we can have like summer days out so yeah it's a little bit crap but like i don't want to come across like i'm moaning because so many other people are in a much more difficult position than me and i don't want to in any way um you know feel like i'm just moaning about you know not being able to go anywhere or moaning that I'm like sad or whatever because I know so many people have gone through life-changing horrific things throughout this time and I just want to you know I just want to send my, all my love to to everybody that has gone through either you know losing a family member or a friend or you know just just genuinely gone through a rough time um because i know it's it's really not easy so yeah um i'm gonna go i might pick you up in a little bit i'm gonna carry on watching teen mum i have teen mum on the tv like i said um i have got my lucasaid somewhere this is my favorite lucasaid ever like it's so nice it's the brazilian mango and uh, mango and mandarin um one but it's so nice like i know it's really not good for you and to be honest i shouldn't really be drinking energy drinks because i have a heart uh, a liver function
problem. But yeah, I just treat myself every now and then to just like a little bit. Like I'll not drink this entire bottle, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd bring this as a treat. And I've also had, let me know if you guys have tried them because they are so nice um the orange twirls so obviously this is an empty packet right now um but yeah i treated myself to an orange twirl and that was delish like it was mega good <laughs> so yeah i put it in the fridge when i got to my mum so i've had it and it was like nice and cold i love chocolate when it's been in the fridge like i'm a chocolate in the fridge kind of person I don't like eating chocolate when it's like at room temperature because I just find it so sickly. So yeah, I enjoy it so much more when it's been in the fridge. So yeah, that is it for now. I might pick you up in a little bit. Like I say, I'm going to finish off watching this Team Mum episode and then I think I'm going to go and hoover and tidy my mum's room just so she's got a nice room to come home to. Uh, and yeah that is pretty much it like i say um i might be expecting a call or a text from connell in a bit that he's leaving work early if not i will see him around five o'clock and then he will come here to pick me up we'll go back home and yeah we'll have dinner and we'll probably carry on watching um we actually we started watching the stranger on netflix last night don't know how I feel about it. We've been watching The Fall and we finished The Fall and it was incredible. Like, if you haven't seen The Fall, it, funnily enough, it's actually got 2016 on, on it on Netflix. I don't know if it's been out that long or not, or been on Netflix that long. Um, but it's been like a, like a big rave thing for it this year. And honestly... It was amazing like i love like crime dramas and things like that so oh it was just amazing the last episode got me though like if you've seen the fall if you've seen that their end episode of the fall you will know how freaking intense that last episode was like i don't think anyone was just prepared for how much went on in that episode <laughs> i'm still trying to get over it now i'll be honest but yeah, so let me know if you started watching The Stranger or if you've watched it. Um, just don't know how to think... I just don't know how to feel about it. There's a lot going on. We've only watched two episodes so far, but it's just like... I don't know, there's a lot to get to grips to. Or get to grips with. So, yeah. I shall speak to you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am taking these bits upstairs and i wanted to show you this jacket that i have bought for cornwall so let me just turn some lights on in here because it is a little bit it is a little bit dark in here and it's a mess as well but i've just got in from my mum's and yeah, I thought I'd carry on um, the vlog. So yeah, where can I put you? I can potentially put you on the radiator. There we go. Let me just, let me just sort this situation out right now. I'm sorry that you just got like a major crotch shot there. <laughs> so yeah, I was just filling up my tablets because I needed to fill up my tablets. But I wanted to show you this. So Connell is currently downstairs making dinner. We are having honey, no we're not. We're having creamy mushroom, like chicken in a creamy mushroom sauce um, with chips and veg tonight so i'm really excited um i've just got into my pajamas so if yeah <laughs> so yeah if you wonder why i don't look the same then that's why so but i wanted to show you this because i toyed with the idea of buying it for connell and i've been meaning to get it for ages and i've just been like looking for weeks and weeks and weeks and it's that ca it's the kind of uh what do you call it the kind of item on asos that 
has just been out of stock for weeks um so i wanted to get it because i realized that it was in stock um a couple of days ago and i needed to renew my premiere delivery for asos anyway you know like the next day uh free next day like delivery you pay like 9.95 i think it is so it came into stock and there was one left in a large so i wanted to get it for him so he's actually told me to put it away till Christmas, but I'm just going to put it in the wardrobe and then he can decide if he wants to wear it before Christmas. Um, but yeah, because I have actually bought him a lot for Christmas. So yeah, I'll get on to that in a minute. But yeah, it's this jacket. So I will link this down below because it is currently still on the website, but it is in and out of stock like constantly. So I will link it and if you get the chance to get your hands on it, then do because it's lovely um it was quite expensive it was 30 pound i don't know how well it's going to show up let me just open the blinds a little bit right so essentially it's got this like lovely like sheepskin fur collar and then it's basically just an oversized shirt so it's like a dark it's almost like a dark gray and black i think like sort of check print so you can see it a bit better there um, but it's absolutely beautiful like I love it it is quite it isn't as heavy and as thick as I originally thought it would be for 30 pound but I love it it's it's really really nice and what I imagined Connor wearing this with is not that I tell him what to wear but like the outfit that I've got in mind is um he's got some like winter like brown leather boots with like this sheepskin sort of trim on the top they're gorgeous um and then some black skinny jeans a white t-shirt just normal t-shirt and then this over the top like opened um he can actually do it up if he wants to like it does fit a nice fit that you could do it up but i just think the kind of way you wear the way you wear these kind of like style shirts shirt jacket whatever um is like wearing it open over a top so yeah i just thought it was gorgeous um but yeah originally i was going to get him for christmas and keep it a secret but i just couldn't like the day that i ordered it um yeah i was trying to get hold of something else for him and i couldn't um and yeah i just wanted to cheer him up so i told him i bought it and i managed to get it but yeah so i wanted to show you that anyway so it's really nice um it is quite like long line but it is really really pretty um yeah it's got like a pocket on the front i don't know how well i'm showing this um and then it's obviously got like like lovely like tortoise shell buttons um but it's super cute so i got that for connell so obviously like i say he can wear it before christmas if he wants to but yeah he insisted i keep it till christmas but it's up to him um but yeah so i've also bought him the xbox series x so the brand new xbox that is getting released next month i think beginning of next month so it's about two or three weeks away from the it's like official release um but i tried to get hold of it on the actual pre-order date which was tuesday i think um and i couldn't get hold of it i was refreshing the pages for ages i just couldn't get hold of it i, I never realized that a, like a brand new xbox would be that hard to get hold of connell didn't even know because he's had xboxes in the past but he's never ordered them on pre-order he's always ordered them after they've been out for a couple of weeks so yeah i was absolutely gutted and that was the day that i managed to get that shirt on asos um and i thought i'd tell him about it because i know he was really gutted about not getting that xbox obviously i want to i don't want to come across as like you know materialistic things are like the be all and end all because i know to a lot of people that might be offensive um but we are well i am in a position right now that i was able to buy him this xbox originally i wasn't gonna tell him about it i was just gonna like obviously order it um and keep it till christmas but obviously i know he tried to order it himself um and he couldn't get it so i just thought right i'll just tell him um and then if i'm not able to get it i will be honest with him and i'll say look i wasn't able to get it but yeah after like an hour refreshing on loads of different websites i managed to purchase one from game um 
so yeah so obviously the brand new um series x is like 450 pounds so it is a hell of a lot of money but i know um i know that was the one thing connell really really wanted like connell is a big fan in gaming um and he has had his current xbox for quite a long time now like we've been together four years i think he's had it three of those years so he was definitely due an upgrade um for an xbox and our plan is like obviously not in this house because we haven't got the space but obviously when we eventually buy a house i'm hoping to buy a three bedroom house and um when we like sort of renovate it and things like that i'm wanting to make connell a gaming room um i'm not sure whether it'll be sort of like gaming slash filming room like we'll share it because at the moment in because at, at the moment we've only got a two bedroom house and in our spare bedroom we have like our beauty like my beauty stuff so like my dressing table um you know all my like hair stuff all my makeup stuff and then we have a spare bed in there so and it's not a massive room either so he hasn't got the space for like a gaming set up in there um so at the minute he just uses downstairs and he just plays on his xbox downstairs on the main tv in the living room but yeah so the idea is when we move out to sort of create a gaming sort of space in the house so obviously you can have friends over or you know he can just have that space for himself um and not have to worry about you know like if i have people over or if i have friends and family over um then he's got like a separate room that he can just like chill in so yeah that is the initial idea behind that and i know he's super excited for um some new like game launches and stuff so yeah i bought him the xbox series x and i'm so pleased to be able to be in that position especially because obviously over the last year we have had our house and we have been paying for our house um and the first couple of months this time last year were really really difficult um financially because obviously we had to get all the money together we had to get deposit for the house we you know how to purchase some big appliances so a lot of our money purely went on the house this time last year um and i feel in a really fortunate position right now to be able to you know treat connell to this um obviously i know with obviously us having a house and us saving to buy a house as well um christmas is not going to be you know full of really expensive presents um and i understand that and i'm sure he understands that as well um because obviously my like my main goal right now is to save to buy a house um and even though we're nowhere near there yet um i am hoping you know if we work hard enough then we can get a decent deposit together even if it takes another 12 months it'll be what it'll be do you know what i mean but i just feel like i don't very often get to treat connell to um like things that i know he really likes and i know the xbox like i say is has been you know a thing that he's wanted for a long long time so i just feel really like proud of myself and like really happy that i was in a financial position to be able to buy that for him um so yeah i'm sure he's super excited for it to come but yeah so he's he's got his like sort of new gadget now and i i felt like it was only right that i treated him to the new xbox because obviously earlier in this year i purchased this camera and so right now i'm filming on the canon g7x mark ii and i've been doing my youtube channel for the best part of six years now i think five six years and obviously it's taken a long long time for me to financially have the money to buy this camera like even when i lived at home and i had the money i i couldn't i just couldn't bring myself to um spend the amount of money that this camera cost me on a camera um because i didn't know whether i would stick to 
filming I didn't know whether you know YouTube was going to be like a full-time thing for me I did I didn't really know what where I was going with my channel and obviously because of this camera costing 500 and odd quid um or 500 and odd pounds um I felt like because I've treated myself to this and this is my hobby and this is my sort of escape and this is what I like to do in my free time um, because I invested in the equipment that I wanted the sort of I, w I wouldn't say like top of the range because obviously you can have a Canon DL uh, DSLR and all that kind of stuff but because this has been like this camera has been on my want list for years and years and years um, I knew that because I obviously have my equipment for what I love to do, I wanted to get one on the new Xbox. So yeah, that was a little bit of a rant, but yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to say in that aspect. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited for it to come actually. It looks epic, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really good. So yeah, um, I am just, chilling really now um i mean we we've both got his pajamas on he's showered so yeah he's back in from work so obviously i just filled my tablets up so i'll just put them away in my box but yeah so we're gonna settle down and have some dinner i'm excited to try this new sauce um i don't actually know what sauce is so i might go and have a look and tell you guys because yeah i'm hoping it's nice um but yeah so it is currently the weekend now so i'm sure connell is very thrilled to be not going to work for the next two days so yeah we'll head back downstairs and see what connell is doing with the chicken i have just noticed my um windowsill is very very dusty so i need to clean that because i am an absolute tramp <laughs> but yeah so let's go downstairs and see what he's doing oh can't believe how dark it's getting hi i want to know what type that chicken is i'm gonna wait for him to put it in the actual thing it's from a brand called chicken tonight and what's it called creamy mushroom mm. creamy mushroom so yeah um we're gonna have that for dinner so i'm excited to see what that tastes like because i have had the honey and mustard one from that like brand and i didn't enjoy it very much so yeah i'm hoping this one's a bit more up my street but yeah we have had a voucher come through the post from domino's so yeah i think we're gonna get this tomorrow night because obviously it's saturday tomorrow night so and we normally get a takeaway more often than not on a saturday so it's quite a good deal actually I don't know if Domino's is everywhere in the world, but yeah, it's basically, so for anyone that's from the UK, you'll know that Domino's is super expensive, um, especially for what it is. Like, I used to think it was worth the money, now not so much. Um, but yeah, they've sent this like voucher through and it's basically a mega Fortnite, any size pizza for 7 99 um which is absolutely incredible because most of the personals are either 7.99 or 8.99 and that's just for a personal like a personal is like i could probably eat a personal and be satisfied but that's just it's tiny yeah, set the time for 15 he's talking to alexa we like alexa we've got an alexa so we like to tell her to set the time for the oven for food. So yeah, I am hoping that, cause I'm just looking through the menu. I don't know if this is the full menu, but yeah, I thought any size pizza for 7.99 and it says when you collect order two or more for delivery. So if we get two like large pizzas, that's like 
what? What did you say? Sixteen pound, did you say? Yeah. 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 So it's you get two pizzas for sixteen pound, and then um, like a side is like five or six pounds. So I thought that were actually quite decent because we have a pizza delivery place on Just Eat that we order from all the time that's near us and it costs like normally around 20 pound or so like give or take with delivery and we we both get like a small pizza and a portion of chips to share so i thought for pretty much the same price that we'd pay for like a grotty takeaway pizza not that i'm saying the place we go to is grotty because it's not it's really nice pizza but I haven't had Domino's in a long time. Like, apart from when we had it at, uh, I'm trying to think where we went recently. Laceby. Lace Thank you. <laughs> um, apart from when we went to Laceby um, and we had it one evening, I haven't had it for a long time. Like, it's got to be at least nearly two years since I've had it. So, yeah, I'm excited for that so yeah that is about it i have got a little bit of tidying up to do um not much though just put like the odd bits and bobs away really um i'm hoping to go shopping this weekend and buy some new candles um because i want to have a look in home sense for some for uh, for some faux flowers um so yeah i'd really like to get some new fake flowers for my vase for the top of the stairs and get some new candles because i really want to have a look at the autumn winter candles even though i'm not the kind of person that likes wintry like sort of cinnamony christmassy scents um ever like I, I never thought i'd be like this but ever since i've moved out i have just converted to loving candles I, I, I had loads and loads and loads of candles from like birthdays christmases um when i lived at my mum's and i never burnt them i don't know what it was i was just i was scared of like falling asleep and leaving them on i think and setting my house on fire but ever since i've moved out i love them like i love candles so much and like all my friends have bought me candles since we've moved out for like christmas and birthdays um so I really want to have a look at the range because I've actually got one. I don't know if you can see. I've got one over there. Um, that pink one there is from the range. And I've had a look online and I think they're like $3.99 for a, a candle that size. And that is that is amazing value for a candle that size. Like for a candle that size that you'd buy from Yankee Candle, you'd be paying nearly 20 quid for that. So yeah i'm gonna have a look in the range at some point um when i go at some point this this weekend and have a look and hopefully i can pick up a few bits and bobs for my friends for christmas i mean i've only got like two friends to buy for um i've got my school best friend and then i've got my old best friend from work um that used to work with me she's got a little girl but yeah i'm just gonna like have a bit of a mooch like if i see anything cute i'm gonna pick it up because i do this all the time and when it gets to this time of year i go shopping for myself and then when it gets to like november december i stress the hell out because i don't know what to buy people and i just get stuck so i feel like i'm not gonna do that to myself this year and i'm just gonna buy little bits and bobs and then hopefully it'll get to the point where like in december i'm not spending shit loads of money um and it just it works out a little bit easier financially as well so yeah i'm really hoping we get to see our family this year though um and spend christmas with our family because that is the one thing right now that is bothering me the most about this whole situation is that obviously it started in march but i think majority of the the country thought or the world shall i say um thought that it would be easing off by now and the thought that we're nearly in october and obviously we've just had the new pandemic rules been put on us um 
and obviously we're going back to like queuing up in shops and stuff like that it's just it's really bothering me that Boris is going to turn around and say you can't be with your family you can't hug your family you can't meet inside um so yeah that that is my biggest worry this year because I feel like and like I said earlier on in the video um I feel like after the crappiest year that we've all had I feel like that would be the one thing that would probably bring a decent end into the year um you know everyone being with their loved ones and I just I really hope it turns out for the best because this year has been an absolute shite hole so yeah we'll wait and see but yeah I will be back <laughs> coughing I will be buying my friends and family little bits and bobs like little gifts anyway regardless I just hope that I'm able to spend some time with them because Last Christmas was really lovely because we spent like half Christmas day with Connell's family and then half Christmas day with my family. So it was really nice. Um, and hopefully my mum will be in, my mum and stepdad will be in their new house by Christmas, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, they will be a little bit further from me but they're not ridiculously far away. So um, I would like to go and spend time with them in their new home but it'll be what it'll be so yeah so yeah i'm gonna go and tidy my stuff up that i've left everywhere all over the floor and i'm gonna go and pour myself a drink and i don't actually know what the time is alexa what's the time uh, alexa what's the time 5.58 she didn't listen oh thank you she just wished me a good evening um she ignored me the first time so that was rude but yeah I'm gonna go and possibly might pick you up in a bit I don't know um I have uploaded my clips that I filmed earlier so if I don't come back on then this will be the end of it but I am gonna put all my clips together and it's gonna be like one big homely vlog Hey guys, so I just thought I would just film this little ending clip for the end of this vlog. Um, I've just sort of like edited it and watched all the clips back and realised that I haven't really got an ending for this vlog. So yeah, I apologise for the absolute state of me. Um, I'm just about to go to bed. It is 10 o'clock currently on Saturday. So yeah, I'm hopefully going to get this uploaded, um, get in bed and get this uploaded and things like that. And hopefully it should be live tomorrow morning, I'm hoping. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. So yeah, it'll be a nice, um, a nice little homely vlog for you guys to watch on Sunday morning. So yeah, I hope you guys are all really, really well. I hope this kind of video you enjoyed this like this different kind of video it was you know something a lot sort of different for me and sort of not at, not necessarily like out of my comfort zone just a little bit out of what I normally film I suppose um so yeah let me know if you like the vloggy style videos and I'll definitely do some more of those so yeah I'm gonna get going I am gonna get into bed and I'm going to cozy up and watch a little bit of YouTube I think and then just go to bed because I'm super tired. I apologise for the absolute state of me though because I look minging <laughs> but yeah so I am going to go. I hope you have a really good Sunday if you watch it on, if you watch this video on upload day and I shall see you very, very, very soon in my next video. Love you lots, guys. Bye.